Hey guys, it's Lega from Sleek Note, and today I want to share with you 14 examples of how you can use Sleek Note for other than collecting email addresses. So, first of all, you can use Sleek Note as a virtual employee on your website. We all know that in physical stores, you have employees that go up to your customers and ask if they need help or any guidance in choosing the right product. So you want to be able to replicate that experience on your website to increase sales and improve on your customer experience. Let's take this first example. One thing that's really hard to choose is, for example, foundations. Many people are unwilling to buy foundations or other products, similar products online because they don't have the possibility of trying it on and see if it matches their skin type or whatever they might need. So by adding a foundation guide like they've done here and then making people aware that they have it can really Im improve the customer experience and also increase sales because people are no longer in doubt in what foundation to choose. So the important thing is here is that you have the guide, but most impo more importantly, that you make people aware of it. You put the sleek note on the screen telling people, hey, are you having trouble finding the right foundation? Then see our foundation guide or any other product you have that might need further guidance or explanation, anything. Tell people how to make the choice. Another example is when you buy shop for clothes. We've all tried shopping for clothes, receiving it, and then it just doesn't fit. Then you have to return it, maybe choose another size. It's just, it's a bother. So you want people to receive the product and then it just fits. So most online stores that sell clothes already have a size guide, but most people don't use it because either they don't know it's there or they just don't, they forget it. So by adding this sleek note, you help people choose the right size, just like you would in a store, and they'll get a product that they're really satisfied with and they're just not going to return it. So that's a win-win. Next example is offering a discount code right on the spot without asking for an email address. So typically you would create an opt-in and then you would have people enter their email address to get the discount code. Then people go to their inbox, get the code, and then return to your site. But during Christmas, people just don't have time for that. They want to make their purchase quickly, efficiently, and they don't want to be interrupted. So by adding the discount code directly in the sleek note, you're not breaking up that customer journey and your customers can quickly choose the products they want, enter the code, and complete their checkout. Another issue during Christmas sales is people will not buy from you if you don't let them know how long they have to return presents. So in many cases, you'll have a page on your website where you tell people about return. So how do they return? How long do they have? Etc. Etc. But during Christmas sales, you want to make that really clear because when you shop for Christmas presents, you shop for them in advance. So let's say you buy a Christmas present one month in advance and the typical return uh, period is 30 days. Then your, the people who receive your presents won't have time to exchange the gifts. So make sure you tell people exactly how long they have to return Christmas presents. The longer the better in most cases. and people won't be reluctant to buy your products because they know that they're that the people who receive the presents will have enough time to exchange them if necessary, of course. So continuing down the line of notifying people. So if you are experiencing technical issues on your website, that's a thing that people will be frustrated about and leave your site because they don't know what's happening. They don't know if you're aware that there's a problem and they don't know when it's going to be fixed. So by adding a sleek note like the one you see on the screen to let's say your homepage or any other page where relevant, you can inform people of the technical issues you're experiencing 
so that they don't just leave your site because they don't know what's happening. They might stay on your site because now they know, okay, there is a problem, but they're working to fix it. So another way to use Slignode is to promote products. Let's take an example. So here you don't have an opt-in form where people have to give their email address. It simply just says, hey, we've got 20% off today, start shopping. So people who enter your website and might just be window shopping will see this thing and think, hey, maybe there are some great deals I need. Who doesn't like great deals, right? Let's say you have a sale on, on t-shirts. You're not, you don't just want people to buy one t-shirt, you want people to buy more t-shirts. So you can say, okay, buy three for the price of two. Anything, any sale or products you have going on, you can use Leaknote to promote those products and make people aware that there are either discounts or new items in, in shop. So another great way to use Leaknote is on Black Friday. Add a sleek note to your home page, popping up saying, Hey, it's Black Friday, we've got loads of new deals, 50% off everything, or whatever your deal is. Make people aware of it and just have a simple call to action. Start saving money now or get your favorite, favorite items today. Anything, just let people know. So another way is during a summer sale. You might have 40% on selected items or 20% off all tops. Whatever uh, discounts or campaigns you're running, you want people to know what items are on sale or you, what items you want them to buy. So for instance, on, in the example on the screen, there's a summer sale and they have up to 40% off on selected items. Add a CTA saying, go to summer collection. And when they click that button, they get right to the page where you have all the items that has a discount. Simple. So the last example in this category is from a gross online grocery store. So not only can you buy groceries online, they've implemented this new product called a meal box where you get a meal meal box full of the ingredients you need to make a whole meal or four meals depending on the package. Super simple. So when they implemented this, they wanted people to know that this one was an option. So they added this sleek note telling people, Hey, we've got great news. This new thing just happened. Check it out. It really doesn't have to be more complicated than that. And it might seem like a small thing. But making people aware that something new is happening or you've got new products or a sale is happening, it really does increase your sales. So next, I want to talk about abandoning visitors and guidance. So we all know the abandoning visitors just, it's annoying, right? So you want people that are about to leave just you want to give them that final chance to stay on your site or purchase something. Just do anything that has some kind of value for your business. So in this example, it's an excellent intent form. So it triggers when people are about to leave the site and it says leaving already, get a discount with this code. This would be awesome to use in, for instance, say your cart, your checkout. So if people have added items to their cart and are about to leave, you want to try to just give them that final push to complete their purchase. You don't know why they're leaving. It might be that they don't have time or they might think it's too expensive. Whatever that reason is, you can add a sleek note trying to overcome that obstacle and give them that final push to complete their purchase. Another example is, for instance, if people are about to leave, you can, and you don't know why they're leaving. There are so many reasons people leave a website. So if you don't know the reason, you can just add a sleek note saying, Hey, before you leave, do you need any help? Do you have any questions? Give us a call, anything. 
This type of information can be super useful to you when optimizing your site and improving your customer journey. Another way to use Sleeknode is like you see in the example on the screen. If you have products that go together, so for instance, in this example, they sell baby stuff. So that's strollers, car seats, beds, clothes, anything. So new parents, for instance, they might need a lot of things in one order, but it's super expensive. So you want people to be able to get a custom offer if they're buying more items, but people might not know that that's an option on your web shop because you have a, a set price for each item. So add a sleek note if you want to offer this that says, hey, if you want to buy more items, how about you tell me what you need and I can give you a great price. This is kind of the same example, but with travel agencies instead. So buying a travel uh, vacation or anything related to that is kind of a big deal because it's, so it's typically very expensive and you want your trip to be customized. You don't want to just buy a package, say anything. So this league note offers people a custom quote, just fill in the information, how many people, how many days, where they'd like to go. And a sales rep is going to reach out to them and ask them additional questions and give them a custom quote that's tailored to their needs and where they want to go. Lastly, I want to share like a very unexplored opportunity with sleep note, the survey. So you always want to know, you always want to get feedback on the things you do also on your website. So in this example, they're asking people, Hey, you were on our website. We would really love your feedback. So either you can add this before checkout, just to know, get people's feedback on the actual, on your actual website. You can add it after checkout. Uh, when people have made a purchase to ask them what they thought of it, uh, their customer experience. It's, it's just, it's useful for, for getting any type of information you want from your customers. So you can improve, continuously improve your website and optimize on every single aspect. So it doesn't have to be very complicated. Just add a few radio buttons and a comment field, ask people for their feedback and you get great customer insights. So that was all for me today. I hope you can use this and I really want you to try and implement some of these to see how effective they are on your website. So thanks for listening.